LLCs are probably one of the most popular business entities worldwide, if not the most popular. And it's no wonder. They offer limited liability, privacy protection, and flexible taxation. But they're often misunderstood to the detriment of those who set them up. Take, for example, a foreign investor who's investing in the United States. They assume that US LLCs are taxed like LLCs in their home country, which is generally not the case. They're often surprised to learn that US LLCs don't pay tax at all. Their owners do. Or take, for example, a US investor who's investing outside the United States and set up a foreign LLC. They assume that the LLC is taxed as it is in America, i.e. it's not. It's taxed to the owners. Whereas in most foreign countries, LLCs themselves are subject to tax. And then the American owners are subject to tax on the profits of the foreign LLC, whether or not they actually receive it. So I created this video, how are LLCs taxed to clear up any confusion, give people a clear idea of how LLCs are taxed in the United States and in most foreign countries so that they can make good decisions that will increase their probability of success when getting into business ventures using LLCs. Let's get started. First, what is an LLC? An LLC is a company type that provides its members or owners and managers, meaning those who manage the LLC, limited liability, meaning they are not personally liable for the liabilities of the LLC. So if you're a member and owner of an LLC and the LLC gets sued, the LLC's assets are at risk, the members are not. And the same goes for the managers, the people who are managing and controlling the LLC. They are not liable for the debts or liabilities of the LLC. So if the LLC gets sued or the LLC has debts, the managers are not gonna be liable for it unless it was fraud or gross negligence, something of that. In the US at least, there's two different ways you can structure an LLC. You can structure it as member managed, meaning that the owners manage it, and then you can structure it as manager managed, meaning that you have the members, the owners, and they elect managers who can be third parties, they don't necessarily have to be other members, to manage the LLC. We generally recommend manager-managed LLCs in the US because they offer more asset protection than member-managed LLCs. I'm not gonna get into the details why in this video because that's not the purpose of this video. We're talking about the taxation of LLCs. LLCs are gonna be taxed differently depending on the country where they're set up. And LLCs are very popular entities, as I already said, for US investors because of how they can be classified both in the US and in foreign countries for US tax purposes. So let's get into how domestic US LLCs are taxed. Let's remember that LLCs are what's called eligible entities, meaning that they're eligible to elect different tax classifications. So first I'm gonna talk about the default classifications and then I will talk about the tax classification that can be elected. So in the US, the default taxation of an LLC with a single owner is that as a disregarded entity, meaning the LLC itself is disregarded for tax purposes and it's if the single owner was doing whatever the LLC is doing directly. So if you're, let's say, a self-employed individual and you operate your business through a 100% owned LLC, that LLC does not need to file a tax return. You would report all the income and expenses from that LLC on your Schedule C. That's how it's a disregarded entity. It's disregarded for US tax purposes meaning it has no U.S. income tax filing requirement. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. If the U.S. LLC that's taxed as a disregarded entity has a foreign single owner, that foreign single owner will need to file a Form 5472 every year to report transaction with related parties as well as who the beneficial owner of that LLC is. But although the Form 5472 is filed with the IRS, it's not an income tax form in the sense that it doesn't generate any tax liability or consequences. It's purely an informational return that needs to be filed. Let's now talk about how a, the default taxation of a US LLC with multiple owners. A US LLC with multiple owners is taxed as a partnership. Now this is regardless of whether those owners are US persons or non-US persons. Partnerships are what are called flow-through entities, meaning 
There's no partnership level tax. Rather, the profits and losses flow through to the individual partners who then report those profit or losses on their individual tax returns. A partnership in the United States would need to file form 1065, that's a partnership tax return, to disclose all of the partnership's income and expenses and then show how it was allocated amongst the partners. A US LLC can elect, this is not a default treatment, it's an election that would need to be filed on form 8832. It can elect to be taxed as a corporation. Generally it would be a C corporation. If it qualifies, it could also be an S corporation, in which case it would need to file an 1120 in the case of a C corporation or an 1120S tax return in the case of a S corporation. Now, by making that election, if it's treated as a C corporation, you're gonna have entity level tax, just like a corporation, so it's gonna have to pay corporate income tax, and then the members will have to pay tax on any distributions, dividends that they receive from the LLC that is taxed as a C corporation. If it's taxed as an S corporation, then it's more attuned to a partnership where there's no entity level tax. The income and expenses flow through to the S corporation shareholders who then pay tax on the profits. So now let's get into how foreign LLCs are taxed. So by default, the US treats foreign LLCs as foreign corporations. Now the reason being is that the US tax code states that foreign entities that offer all of its members or owners limited liability are treated as foreign corporations by default. And since foreign limited liability companies offer their owners limited liability, the US tax code classifies them as foreign corporations for US tax purposes, meaning that they are treated as foreign corporations for US tax purposes and are taxed accordingly, regardless of whether they have single or multiple owners. This is where a lot of Americans that set up LLCs abroad get confused, right? Because if you remember, US LLCs by default don't pay tax, right? They're either a disregarded entity with a single owner or a partnership with multiple owners, but in the end, it's the owner or owners that have to report the income and pay the tax. That is not the case with foreign LLCs. So a lot of Americans mistakenly set up foreign LLCs, assuming they're sort of disregarded for US tax purposes and that they don't pay any entity level tax. And that is absolutely not the case. The foreign LLCs are generally treated, as I said, as foreign corporations. And all of the tax implications that come with that are gonna be in effect. Mainly, that means that the US shareholders may have to pay tax on the profits of the foreign corporation whether or not they actually receive it. And so this can result in heavy taxation, right? Because the foreign LLC likely has to pay tax in the foreign jurisdiction where it was set up. And then the US shareholder also has to pay tax on the profits of the foreign corporation, whether or not they actually received it, if the criteria for doing so is met. The threshold for having to do that is relatively low. Additionally, they're gonna have some very burdensome IRS reporting requirements. They're gonna to have to file international information returns, Form 5471, to report financials and other information about the foreign corporation. They're gonna to have to file Form 926 to report transfers of property, including cash to the foreign corporation or the foreign LLC. And they may have to file Form 8938, which is the fact of form to disclose foreign financial assets. Now, and this is a little backwards to how US LLCs are taxed where by default, they're flow through entities and don't pay any entity level tax, but can elect to be treated as corporations. Whereas foreign LLCs are by default foreign corporations, but they can elect to be treated as flow through or disregarded for tax purposes. So a foreign LLC can generally elect to be a disregarded entity if it has a single owner. If it has a US single owner, it would need to file form 8858 and that US owner would need to report all the income and expenses of that foreign LLC on their US tax return. They do get the benefit of the foreign tax credit if that LLC paid any foreign taxes on its income. It can also elect to be treated as a partnership if it has multiple owners, in which case the US owners would need to file form 8865 annually and report their share of the partnership's income and expenses. Again, they would get the benefit of the foreign tax credit for any foreign income taxes that the foreign LLC treated as a partnership paid. At Esquire Group, we've been helping our clients set up LLCs and advising them on the best tax treatment for their particular situation for two decades. If you need help structuring or restructuring an LLC, we're here to help. Just reach out. You can email us at info at esquiregroup.com 
or reach us on the web at www.esquiregroup.com. Thank you.